Today's vlog we are starting the day off while well, we've been at home and now we're at my mother-in-law's gonna have a little catch up and yeah that's essentially what we're doing I'd say this morning but it's now afternoon hi guys so I realized I've been a pretty average vlogger today so yeah sorry about that I think I was just at my mother-in-law's and we we're just chatting about Madison and Madison's first birthday so I thought I would give you I was gonna say a garden tour but it's not really a garden tour it's probably a veggie garden tour because I get questions about like my veggie garden and that's next door's dog uh, like stuff that we grow at home so I thought I would give you a bit of a look into what it looks like so unfortunately it's not as glorious and like glamorous as people think there's Henry the cat. I know, those dogs. They just bark. So let's have a look. This one here is our apricot tree. Um, we've finished the fruiting season for that one. This one under the net is our nectarine tree. I think we probably actually still have some nectarines on here. Let's have a look. Uh, yep. We do have some nectarines still, so Madison is really liking them. And then we have all of this stuff. And this is the reality of homegrown vegetables. Ugh, let me move over here. So because these are all like vine vegetables, they throw out these like vines. So as you can see, this is pumpkin. So like I have like one here, a little one there. Oh, like walking through them one there one there one there one near the barrel over there so they're pumpkins and then that little fine leaf one over there actually it's like this the leaves are like this one also see how it's like this little curly leaf that's our watermelon and what else do we have I can show you uh, this is a blueberry bush or what's left of it now because it's pretty much at the end of its fruiting life there's a few little fruits on there these are our strawberry bushes so you can see all the little strawberries growing everywhere there are capsicums you can see there's a red one there and there's a couple of little ones on that bush there there's randomly spring onion it just spring onions like a weed just grows everywhere these yellow flowers are marigolds they're supposed to be like a deterrent i think they're meant to be like bee bee attracting but they're like a deterrent for other stuff that's growing that's a plane in the background that's spinach it's probably way too much spinach there. I probably should pick some. Oh, we did have a this dead looking one is the capsicum, but I think we're at the end of those capsicums. And then we have tomatoes in the corner. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the garden at the moment, except a cat. Hey, Henry. Hi. That's essentially what's going on in this mess this is how we grow veggies from home oh i guess i have other stuff this way if i just weave my way through 
this stuff. Um, I also have a raspberry bush here, which we didn't get much fruit from this year. So I'm hoping it's doing what our blueberries did, where they had an off season where there wasn't much fruit, and then they really like we got heaps of fruit from our raspberries this year. So this is what happens when you have vines; they just like grow through whatever they can. And then if I go over here, I have my little herb barrel with a whole bunch of herbs so chives and there's not much parsley in there at the moment I need to plant some more parsley uh, oregano and thyme and mint mint takes over that's what's left of my basil plant basils are an annual if you didn't know so that's long gone so that's essentially my veggie garden I should say it's our veggie garden because Ryan does probably a lot more work in it than I do but oh I missed one thing I missed one thing to show you and it's this our grapevine where we have lots of grapes growing as you can see and we have like a little thing there so we actually bought this as like a seedling this year or like a year old might have even been a year old but literally it was only like this big and now this is what it's done in I think we got it in October it's just going gone nuts so that's essentially our veggie garden and yeah it all needs to be cleaned up We'll probably prune back as much of the vines as we can for Madison's birthday party next week so we have as much space so yeah let me know down in the comments if you like the whole tour thing of our veggie garden and if you want to see I don't know anything else if you want to see a tour of anything else let me know but yeah I just thought I'd add something different to this vlog because I've been a pretty average vlogger today. Oh look, and again with the mum, the mum horns. Look who's awake. Say hi, Papa. Does anyone have that horrible feeling when you have to wake your child up? Because I had to wake her up, otherwise she won't go to bed and I'm going out tonight and her daddy's gonna put her to bed and it won't go down well if she won't go to bed because she slept too long. Gonna have some dinner, have some tea. Hey, oh. show them your teepees. Give it, have it. <laughs> the camera goes away and then she grabs it. Oh, show them your teepees. Your teepees. Madison has eight teeth now, don't you? I thought Madison was going to be one of those babies who only had maybe two or three because she took ages to cut her first tooth. Cause she cut her first tooth when she was nine months old nine and a half I'm literally in ten weeks now nine or ten weeks so she's cut eight teeth haven't you should we have some dinner yeah let's have some dinner look what we've got here we got some spaghetti well some bolognese with macaroni pasta although technically they're elbows but careful you're gonna eat that you want to dip your finger in it? So I fed Madison her tea and as you can see it was very very messy and I'm sure loads of people are wondering why I didn't bother to put a bib on her or why I left her top on and to be honest it was mainly because I had to wake her up from her afternoon nap and I didn't really want to make her grumpy. She at the best of times 
For some reason at home she doesn't isn't too fond of a bib, she just rips it off so I figured I can wash the t-shirt, there's no problem with that. Today's question for this vlog comes from, I know it's really sad, my sister, because she sent me a message on Instagram with a question and her question was, is she my favourite sibling and she is my favourite younger sister, is that a thing? Because I have three siblings. Madison, what are you doing? She's just randomly using my leg as a pillow, but she's like in the crawl position. So that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's vlog, which is actually going to start a little early because you have to wait and see. Check it out tomorrow and I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye guys. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.